everyone welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new my name is Jackie I hope you hit that subscribe button to be notified whenever I upload a new video hello by the thumbnail and the title it is my 30th birthday get ready with me this has been my yearly tradition since i turned 25 and ever since then i've done a birthday get ready with me i did a little bit differently this year which i'll explain to you in a bit i always film the after before i go through the whole process with you if you watched one of these before that's what i usually do i do the intro and outro at the end of the video and then I splice it together and put it in the beginning. So this is how this year has turned out. I changed it up a little bit, put on my birthday dress, did all those fun details which you will see as well as a little behind the scenes of how I shoot my birthday pictures. You can't really see but I have my birthday balloons behind me. Three and zero. I'm turning 30. Wow. <laughs> I can't believe I'm saying that. But I discuss more about everything in the video. So without further ado, let me just begin and introduce my 30th birthday. Get ready with me now. Hello, let's begin my 30th birthday. Get ready with me. I've done my birthday get ready with me is for five or six years now. I started on my 25th birthday, 26, 27, 28, 29, and now I'm 30. <laughs> I can't believe that I'm 30 and I think this is the last year I'm going to do this. Maybe I'll do my 40th birthday get ready with me. That is so scary to think about. So what's different about this get ready with me this year is I'm gonna like talk you through and have like a chatty get ready with me instead of like doing a voiceover. So this is gonna be a little bit longer and hopefully I don't babble too much. Another thing that is different about this birthday get ready with me video is I'm filming this in advance because if you're watching this now, it means that I am in the Philippines. I went back home finally after five years. So I was supposed to go back after two years. So 2018, I came here to the US and then 2020, I was supposed to go home, but you know what happened to the world. So I couldn't, I was gonna go back 2021, that got postponed again. And now it is 2023 and I'm finally <laughs> gonna go back so hopefully when you're watching this i am celebrating my birthday with all of my family back home what's exciting is only a few of my relatives know i'm coming back home they know my dad is going home i told them the date and everything but what they don't know is i'm going with him i made a sob story saying i wish i can go back home i wish i can like go but my passport's expired which isn't true <laughs> and I cannot leave because I have so much going on. That is also not true. So hopefully I surprise them. Hopefully you'll see a vlog about that, my travel vlog, what I'm packing video. I'm doing all the videos. I'm also doing TikTok simultaneously. So I'm a busy girl. So yeah, I am totally like scatterbrain. So I was supposed to be doing my makeup while I was chatting with you. So let's do that. I have my basket of makeup right here. I already organized what I want to do for my birthday. Get ready with me. Hopefully I'll change it up a little bit this year, but it's still going to be hot pink, obviously. And then I also have my makeup bag here. So I'm taking two makeup bags. One has some new products in it, and this is just going to be my everyday makeup. I'm trying to conserve and like not pack too much but knowing me i will so when i get done with the product straight into the makeup bag to pack it so i know what i'm taking with me and it's just easier that way so that's why i had to film this so i could pack all this up don't think i'm gonna take this whole basket i might i don't know i have my mirror with me and i'm doing this on my bed so hopefully i can do it correctly <laughs> so yeah, that is my setup. I love filming my birthday get ready with me this way. I was doing it in my bathroom the last two years, I believe, but I just love sitting on my bed doing my makeup. So that's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna chat you through, catch you up about my life because I haven't been doing YouTube videos. And yeah, that's sort of fun stuff. So I'm gonna stop blabbering. I might mention like 
what makeup I'm using. I might forget because I'm going to be on a tangent about something. But I always link everything I use in my videos in the description. So, without further ado, let's do my face for my 30th birthday. I'm going to set up my mirror right here and see if I can do it good and have it like stable. I have it on a pretty like good surface. So, yeah. I guess I should start with the beginning, my primers, all that. So yeah, I'm going to totally forget to tell you what I'm using. I should have bought a refill of this. I love this stuff. I need to take it with me. Hopefully this lasts me a while. I don't think I'm going to wear too much makeup in the Philippines because one, I'm going to sweat it all off because it's so hot. I have been so cold here in the US. <laughs> like here, I live in California. You would think... I would have like perfect temperature, especially living in Southern California. Uh, I live only an hour away from LA. I moved an hour away from LA two years ago now, and I've never been this cold before. I mean, I guess because I live like 10 minutes away from the ocean, I don't know if that affects anything, but I'm so cold and then I'm probably going to be like sweating my butt off in the Philippines with how hot it is. My cousin was telling me it's so warm over there so not looking forward to that I'm gonna be okay for the first few days probably and then I'm gonna get sick of the heat and be like oh, I miss the cold I miss when I was freezing to death instead of like overheating let that dry into my skin and whenever I do these I use the elf putty primer which I should really organize this basket and put this away like I was trying to do in the first place so let's open my makeup bag up and that so i fly out of lax on april 17th and i land in manila april 18th at 6 30 at night so six more hours later is the 19th which is my 30th birthday so yeah that is fun that i did it that way so hopefully nothing goes wrong because i do not want to spend my birthday on an airplane <laughs> i want to be with my family surprising them and i'm just looking forward to surprising them since they don't know i'm just gonna show up to the house on my birthday i told them i'm not doing anything special this year even though it's my 30th but they don't know i'm actually doing something special which is exciting i am going to do my birthday photo shoot here on my bed after i do my makeup you can see there's a picture over there behind me i framed last year's version just for fun and i have all the years 27 is the only year that I didn't take pictures with balloons so that is kind of sad that I didn't take pictures with balloons I had balloons that year but I just didn't blow them up which I should have now I wish I did that I regret it but the past is in the past let's see another new thing in my life would be I'm trying to get my driver's license I started last year two days before my birthday I believe and I failed my written test and I was discouraged and didn't want to take it again and then I've been working at it I've been studying I took the written test and I passed it one try that time I mean it was the second try but I passed it I was so excited and then I realized that uh, my permit expires so I had to do the driving test and I learned how to drive in the Philippines I didn't really practice too much. I know how to drive. I have a professional Philippine license, but for some reason I was terrified of driving in the Philippines and now I have the phobia here, which is, isn't great. I mean, you shouldn't have a phobia when you're driving and I'm trying to find a product that I can't find. There it is. And it was so nerve-wracking to take the driving test, but I did it. I failed though, because I did one major mistake, which is I turned too wide and almost hit the curb. <laughs> so yeah, it's kind of embarrassing that I did that, but I just need to practice. I've been borrowing friends' cars, so that's why I'm used to my car in the Philippines, but I don't have it here in the US. So <laughs> that's really bad that I failed. But I'm going to try again when I get back. I still have my Philippine license, so that's okay. I'm going to get my international driver's license when I'm in the Philippines. So I can drive again here. 
I just need to get myself a car. So yeah, at least I almost got my license before 30. I tried anyways. So there's that. That's a little update about myself. Foundation. I'm still using the same foundation. Haven't switched it up. I might take a tinted moisturizer with me. So maybe I can like wear a little bit of makeup so it's not that like thick. This is like pretty good. I still enjoy it. So a few pumps of that. I haven't been on YouTube much. I haven't vlogged with this camera since December since Vlogmas. So yeah. I've been out of touch, but I still have been on TikTok, so you can follow my TikTok below. I post every single day. It's coming up to a year where I've been posting on TikTok for a year straight. I really enjoy it. It's more book talk, vinyl talk, and whatever I feel like talk. It isn't like my normal beauty and fashion content. I do have two TikToks, which I haven't been uploading to the one that matches this username. I've been using a different account which again I'll link and I've been enjoying it I love reading I recently got a Kindle which speaking of uh, that's the last time I filmed a video was my Kindle unboxing which is still on this camera that I have to edit maybe if I'm bored on the plane I'll edit it on there but then I need to like charge my laptop so maybe when I'm waiting at the airport <laughs> I'll do that I have that video reading a lot um, listening to a lot of music and yeah so far that has been it for me filming wise i haven't been using my instagram much um either because it's just i don't know i just don't vibe with instagram anymore i don't know why and i haven't uploaded a blog post in almost a year i think so maybe i'll get some things done there when i'm not bored because I don't know, I'm only in the Philippines for two months and then I come and fly back here. Speaking of filming though, my dad actually discovered our old like home videos from like the early 90s to the early 2000s and it's so cool that I have videos of me at such a young age. My dad started literally when I was born. Um, and then my first year I have some. I found my birthday parties which was so cute watching me and I, like I was like a little four-year-old at Chuck E. Cheese that's where my parents had my birthday and I was watching it and I was like I'm so cute like that's such a cute party like I don't remember any of this. I do remember my fifth birthday which I have the footage of that I'll have to react to it or just do a video on it. It's just I love watching old home movies. It is the like so cool that my dad filmed it. He filmed like his travels uh, to Italy and I call it my mom and dad's travel vlogger era because they actually filmed like took pictures. My mom was posing like this is where I get like the blogger gene from my parents. Who knew? Also I was an aspiring vlogger at such a young age. I have videos of me like trying to film. I have a like mini house tour. My dad did a house tour of our first apartment. My mom did a house tour of our second apartment and I did a house tour of this place. So me and my family have done house tours since the early 2000s which is so cool. Like if my parents had YouTube back then they totally would have became vloggers. I did not know my mom filmed so much stuff. Like I felt like she was so shy. She hated being on camera. There are some vlogs when my mom was still around. Um, she didn't want to be on camera, but I snuck her in once in a while. But like back then, like she was all about like filming stuff, filming me. And it's just, I loved watching the videos. I recorded them, put it on DVDs, transferred it to my laptop. So now I have them digitally instead of on like the old like cassette tapes. They're not VHS and they're not like cassette tapes. They're like the old high eight for the old 90s video cameras. My dad still had a working camera and we just recorded so many videos and it's just you could see all our memories and like I remember some of the stuff. It's so cute. I love that we have home movies like that and I can look back and see why I love being on camera so much, why I film my life all the time. 
Uh, I watch so many Christmas videos. You've seen my Vlogmas videos where I react to past Christmases. I reacted to my first Christmas, my second Christmas. Now I can react to so many more because it's always been a tradition, as I said, to film my Christmases. I still do it now. So I'm going to keep up that tradition. Like Even if I don't post it on YouTube, it's just fun to look back on and see everything. So that was a cute little like update from me about that. I had to do my powder, contour, blush, and I'm working on my brows now. But I had to do that off camera because I was babbling too much and shouldn't have been babbling too much. So I am totally getting my brows done in the Philippines when I get there. And my base is pretty much done, so I'm going to set it. Okay, I'll leave that out. I need to find a lid to that thing. I don't know if I'm going to protect my makeup, how I'm going to pack it. I'm just throwing it in the bag right now of the products I want and then pack it securely afterwards when I have time. I'm running out of time. Like, I have so much to do. You should see my phone. I have like a million, like, a long list, to-do list is what I'm trying to say. I'm getting some stuff done, but not all. Put on some eye primer because the eyes next I feel like I'm speeding through my makeup I feel like I'm missing a step but I'm not let's blend out the contour a little more I feel like it's a really harsh line I don't know if you can see that. but I have my balloons out in the living room I should have put them behind me a big three zero can't change around the numbers now I wish my dad and me like when I was 28 and he turned 82, that would have been great. So we could have just bought one set of numbers and then switched it because he turned 82 this year, which is wild. My mom would have been 72. They were 10 years apart. Now that is set. I don't know what I want to do for my eye look this year, honestly. I bought this at Target last month. It is hot pink eyeliner. I thought I would do like maybe a light pink base with like a hot pink maybe ombre and then some very thick hot pink eyeliner to change it up i don't know if i can achieve that usually you know my go-to is a very hot pink eye and a very hot pink lip which i still will do the hot pink lip but let's try and change up the eyes this year shall we so we have two makeup palettes that i know i'm definitely taking so this is the makeup revolution Affinity palette or forever flawless palette in the shade affinity. So It is gorgeous. I love the shades. There's a lot of neutrals hot pink. So That's good. And then we have the ColourPop ooh la la palette, which is just hot pink and a neutral color right there. So Love that they're my go-to palettes for Valentine's Day and my birthday so I'm going to take the Affinity palette and I think I'm going to take hmm, and just lightly tap it. So I'm going to use this palette to do my eye makeup. Hopefully I won't go too hot pink with this because I want the hot pink eyeliner to show. The last time I did a hot pink eye was for my Harry Styles concert, Get Ready With Me, which I look back on the footage and I'm like, Oh, that was so fun going with my childhood friend. I'll link that video. There's a vlog and get ready with me for it. And I just had the time of my life. Those same friends are going to the Taylor Swift concert. We're all going together in August. We're going to the last show here in LA, which I'm so excited for that. I honestly do not know what I want to do that outfit what era to dress in I mean you would think by how like my aesthetic is I would go with lover but I'm a 1989 girly my favorite album midnight is coming up close second and then speak now I really want to do a speak now look but speak now hasn't been getting much love it has but it hasn't so I don't know yet what era I want to go in or I can like mix all the eras I have no idea what I want to do I wanted to do like the R song like blue dress moment really because that was like my first Taylor Swift music video that I watched 
the first song of hers that I knew of was Tim McGraw. Heard it on the radio when my dad was driving down the five all those years ago and I'm like, why do I like this country song so much? Yeah. So that was my discovery of Taylor Swift and then just the R song music video I remember watching on repeat and I just I loved it so much. So maybe I'll have to do that moment. Who knows? I don't have many ideas. I mean it's April and I have until August but knowing me I'm gonna like like do it last minute but technically I come back in June so I'll have all of June and July to plan an outfit so yeah that is my plans the concerts I have coming up speaking of concerts I am going to one when I am in Manila I'm gonna go see Connor Maynard in Manila it's just a coincidence that he planned a tour when I'm over there so my cousin who dared me and said you will never meet Connor is going to a meet and greet with me so if you've watched my Connor Maynard vlogs I always surprise my cousin with a video of me meeting him or taking a picture with him that same cousin is going to the meet and greet with me and I am so excited for her like she's not as big of a fan as me she knows about him she's a fan of him because of me but like getting to see her face to see like he is a real person and that she's going to meet him and not just a video of me showing her that I met him. It's going to be awesome. I have a vlog that I still also have it edited back in September when I saw him here in LA with another friend. My good friend took me and we had a, the best evening. It was so fun. I need to edit that vlog, which the footage is on my hard drive, which I'm taking with me. So hopefully I can edit. I'll find time. To edit. I haven't technically flown from LAX to Manila in 15 years because I've only flown back there, come back, and then now I'm going again. So it's wild that I'm doing that. I left the US at 15, moved back at 25, and now I'm going back to the Philippines at 30. I still don't know what I'm doing with like eye looks. I just wing it. I have no clue what I do sometimes so yeah that looks good I'm gonna stick with that and my legs are falling asleep I hate that when it does that I am not gonna do lashes with this look I might buy some in the Philippines but I'm not a lashes kind of girl anymore I don't put up with it I should get eyelash extensions but maybe I'll do that in the Philippines who knows but I think that looks good with the eyeshadow look. Now let's play with the eyeliner and see if I can get it correct. Okay, we have this NYX Hot Pink Eyeliner. It's the Vivid Brights Liquid Liner in the shade Don't Pink Twice, which is cool. So it's a very thin wand. So... I don't know how I'm going to do this. I should have just did a plain base and just did this. I don't know, but let's see if it even shows up. It does. Okay, that is pretty. Oh, that's so nice. I love the color. It's not really a hot pink. It's more of a Barbie bubblegum pink, but it matches the eye look. I don't always have to do hot pink, like, even though it's my favorite, so... It's really thin and really smooth. I probably could have like did a bigger wing, but it looks nice. I hope I'm doing this steady enough. You know what? I'm happy with that. I'm just going to leave it not as thick as I thought I was going to do. It is really good though. It is very pigmented if you don't, if you're not using it on a pink base is what I mean. I think I'm happy with that. It's not as noticeable, but it's my fault that I did that. So, pretty good. Have to pack that away now. I haven't been on beauty TikTok for a while, so I don't know what is new, which is good because that means I get to save money and not spend so much on other beauty products that I just try once and don't use again. I'm going to do a couple coats of mascara and then we'll 
do some highlight and lips and then we'll be done with the makeup I might do my hair off camera it's just me gonna curl my hair and then put a giant bow on honestly and then I'll put on my birthday dress to take my pictures which I'll probably include in this vlog a bit of behind the scenes of that because I'm not gonna really vlog my birthday behind the scenes like I usually do I'm just going to you know have fun and focus on like travel content and my birthday in the Philippines will have a vlog though but not like this behind the scenes so you'll see my birthday dress which is hanging up I'm taking it with me I'm putting all of this in my carry-on because I've packed both of my suitcases the only thing I haven't put in my suitcase is my makeup because I've been doing it and here is the final makeup look for my 30th birthday this year it's a little different same lippy as always the NYX lead everything shine loud lipstick I love it it is my go-to I bought another one because I'm obsessed with it it's my go-to hot pink shade and I love like the glossy lip to it it's still like glossy because I just put it on so yes that is the makeup now I'll do my hair I'm unsure what kind of bow I want to wear I have a couple of options for my hot pink dress for the pictures but who knows I also have my happy birthday queen headband and it has a hot pink crown which is perfect I got it on Shein last year and I just wear love wearing these like happy birthday gold crown things headband things for my get ready with me's so like magic I am going to do my hair now and there you have it that is my hair all done so I haven't put my bow on yet I'm still wearing my birthday queen headband and I'm still wearing my pajamas because I'm gonna take pictures with my balloons as you can see I put them up and I also have one right here so I'm gonna do my birthday photo shoot now like I always do I love this tradition it is so fun so I'm gonna recreate that picture again Now I'm in my birthday dress. I took my birthday photos. I'm a bit a little oily because up and down filming TikToks, doing pictures, but I love how it turned out and I just love doing this tradition every year. My dress is so princessy and pretty. I put a bow in my hair, have some cute fun earrings on and a necklace. That is it. I'll link all the details down below in the description if you want to check that out. And I think that is it for my 30th birthday get ready with me. I do hope you enjoyed watching this video, me blabbering about random things, doing a bit of a catch up. And yeah, that is it. I hope to see you in my next few videos. They will be exciting. So please give me a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll talk to you in my next video. Bye everyone!